God bless you. This is Evangelo Cholanda Salas. Hello to everybody in America. Today we're going to be talking about the mother. Yeah, talking about mother. We know that a lot of people around the world got her own mom. And a lot of people didn't got her own mom because her, mom, her own parents passed away. And they be buried in the cemetery. <clears throat> we see sometimes we are her, our parents alive. But God want you and me and everybody to enjoy what God gave it to us. Those lovely couples, I mean the parents, they be in your home that you never go and see it. What are we talking about that? Because we see a lot of people around America, they have her own parents, but they don't care about her own parents. Then when was the last time that you give a kiss to your mother? When was the last time you give a kiss to your father? And you say, oh, I don't have no time for that. He's, um, I'm just a teenager, or I grow up, I don't want to be kissing my father or my mother. You're going to say that. Because I see a lot of people say that when you ask that kind of question. So sometimes we have our parents, and you got your parents home, and you never go then to be, you never go to visit your parents. Maybe they live in Massachusetts, maybe they live right here in New York City, Maybe they live in Chicago, maybe they live in Puerto Rico, maybe they live in California. And in some place around America, your own parents live. But you don't go to see your parents. So you forgot about your parents. We see a lot of people around um, this world, they don't have no parent alive. If they wish to have a parent alive. You don't want to have your parent alive and you don't even care that your parent is alive. You never had time to go and take it to the restaurant and had a dinner with your parents or had a cup of coffee with your moms, right? But we see a lot of people that they don't care about her parents and they want to have her parents at home. Sometimes they accept them. Um, sometimes they say bad words to them and sometimes they don't care they have her parents are like inside the home. Sometimes they um cursing out, we see a lot of um, girls, women and everything, they curse out her own parents, we know they old is enough to do something like that. And sometimes you do that at home, why? Because you don't care that you have your parents alive. And that's so sad when we see that in America. We see sons and daughters, they, what they do with their parents, sometimes um, they get so angry, they kill her own parents, and that's what's said. But why you do something like that, the, the woman that bring you to this world, you take that life away and kill them. That's so sad, right? And we see that a lot in, in the world. People live with a lot of anger, a lot of hate and everything inside the heart. They don't care about her own um, family, and that's very sad. Because you have to think about your mother now that she's alive. Not when she passed away, but when she passed away, what you need your mother when she passed away? Now you need to be thinking about your mom. Now the way you need to be visiting your mother. Now, when, like I said, when was the last time you visited your own mother and father? When? Because you don't go to visit. You never bring no um, no present, nothing to your mother. They come mother say it's like they don't come that day. Or maybe come mother say you bring the present, give it to your mother and get that out of there. Why? Right? Because you see your parents, they're oldest and you don't even care about it, right? And you don't remember when you was younger and when you was a child and she was care about you and she always um, take care, be late in the night and try to, to give you whatever you want and doesn't care that she even go to sleep, right? And when you cry, you was a baby, she always take care of you. She had you in your hands and take care and everything, singing a lot of... Um, Assumed and everything and do a lot of things for you and you don't care about that. Why? Why? Sometimes we see that in America a lot of people they don't care about our own parents and it's very sad. You need to care right now. Don't care about your parents when they pass away. Because it's so sad that now that you got your parents alive and you don't care and then you sometimes when they tell you something, listen, you do this in my own way because you're living in my home and you're telling you curse out your father and your mother and your mother go to the room to cry and say, what I did in my life that he treats me like a piece of trash. And sometimes we see a lot of sons and daughters that do that to her own parents. 
to teach your own parent like a piece of trap. And we know that you do that with your own mother. And sometimes your mother try to give you, um, try to talk to you and try to give you a message and you know we want to take it because you want to do whatever you want and sometimes and he t she tell you, don't do that because that's not right, that's not correct, don't even do it. And you curse her out and you scream at her and you didn't even respect her and you don't respect that she's your mother and you, she needs some respect for you, for her son, for her daughter too. We see that a lot in America. And when we start, see that, we cry. You know why? Because a lot of, a lot of um, women, a lot of girls around America, they don't have no parents. We see a lot of country, they we see they have won everything and they lost home parent. And they wish to have home parent, but they don't have it. And we see a lot of sad story about people, they lost home parent and had to live in by itself, try to fight that war because nobody want them in the world. And you got your own parent right here in America and you abuse them. We see that a lot. That you like, that your parent when you be born, that he abandoned you and, uh, outside in the street, that you like that. Why? It was very sad that he was doing something like that. But he was thinking, they don't care that they poor or nothing like that, they don't have enough money, but they support you and they send you to school and they make you what always you be now. We see that you have to be um, be grateful that got parents in this world because we see a lot of people that don't have no parents. When those days they come, Mother say we see a lot of um, sons and daughters and everything. They come to visit our parents one day at the mom because it's come that holiday. You don't come to visit your father and your mother because they come that holiday. You have to visit the whole, the whole time. And sometimes we see um, daughters and sons in America they would they marry and they be living with her part, um with her husband and they have her own children and this see they see her own part getting old they put in, in uh, care for um see the oldest people like they a piece of try living there because they be embarrassed to have her apartment old but you never remember when they parent was younger it be for you right there and now they oh you forgot about your parents and that's very sad how you parent a lot is a blessed for God and you know it's true but a lot of people they don't appreciate that and I send you this message because we see that this word go the wrong way not the right way you know why because people destroy each other you know someone say should just try to give you these messages to a lot of uh, some daughters they have on parents alive. I just give you this message because we see that you never visit your mother, you never visit your father, you never care about your parents. That's what I'm talking about. It was a sad day you don't care and forgot about your parents, and one day you're gonna pass away and you're gonna go to the cemetery and take some flowers to to the cemetery, right? Where they bury your parents to be cried over there. Huh? Or be crying in the um like in the cover and put some flower. That's too that's too bad. Because when there was a lie, you didn't care. Try to now appreciate the alive. Don't go to the cemetery, take some flower. He's not gonna hear you if you cry. And you know he gonna he ain't gonna say everything where you say, Mom, I love you. I love you with all my heart. I love you warm. Don't say things like that because they're not gonna hear you. He's dead. He need to hear those words that you're gonna say right now. They be a, they are alive because we see a lot of son and daughter. They don't care about her parents. This is a real good message that I send it to you from um and in this video because this is what's happening in America. We see a lot of um son and daughter. They don't care about her parents. They scream at them. They they um sometimes they beat them on on parents and that's what's it. Because when they are like you don't even care. And now with they day you want to go to the cemetery, send some and take some flowers and put it in the in, in, well, in the cemetery and bury the flower right there next to the father. When they come those day, they come birthdays and stuff like that. You go to the cemetery. When it was alive, did you come home? Did you celebrate her birthday? Did you care that he was alive? Did you care that, that he need whatever he need? And you didn't even care. Sometimes he needs some money. Did you give him some money? You didn't give him no money. Why? Because you don't care about your parents. 
And we see that along in America. We see a lot of bad son and bad daughter. They don't care about her parents. They they don't care that they are alive. And sometimes your parents need some money. And sometimes you don't give it nothing to your parents, but you took her money away. You don't give it nothing, but you took her money away. We see that a lot in America. We see a lot of a lot of son in America. They do that. They don't give it nothing to her own parents, but they take they take whatever they had away. And that's the same. Because if you don't give it nothing to your parents, why you give why you take everything what they have away? And sometimes a, a lot of son, a lot of daughter beat them on her own mom to take her money away. And sometimes they stole money from her mom. And that's so sad. Why you do something like that with your own mind? Sometimes we see daughter that smack her own mother and beat them on her own mother. And yeah, that's your own flesh. Why you do something like that? And we see that a lot in America. I give you the message. You need to take care right now. Now, now when she passed away and you go and bury her to the cemetery and cry, oh, mom, I wish you'd be alive. Oh, forgive me. You need to now go and say to your mother, forgive me now. Because you need to care now for your family and now when they pass away. And so sad, so sad. I say this because we see that a lot in America. I see a lot of, a lot, a lot of Americans, they do that with her own parents. They don't even care. They're not respect her parents. They uh, curse the island and everything. Talk about, they say bad words to one of your own parents and stuff like that. Like they are uh, a piece of trap. We see that a lot in America. And we see a lot of our daughters and sons and everything. They be living far away from uh, the her own country and going to another place and they even never visit her mother. And when they found out her parents passed away, they come to the cemetery to uh, bring some flowers and never bring a, a bouquet of flowers when she was alive. That was very sad. Never send a letter in the mail yet she go downstairs and found out I saw her mother that she gave me a testimony that was very sad because she said my son never come to see me. I just Take care about that man my whole life when there was a child. And now that I'm right here, he never come to see me. I be uh, alone at home, sitting down in the chair to be look at the wall to see. And come on. she was counting and um, counting the day that she won't pass away. And she didn't gonna pass away because she was sick. It's because she was lonely and she needs somebody next to her. Thank God, always be. People did not your family and sometimes they'll um, come to your home and take care of you and tell you, listen, if they're not there, we are for you right here. And God always love you. And that's beautiful. But we see some that bear our home parents and we see this um, woman that had 74, 74 years old and she gave me that story. They're very sad and I cry with her. Why? Because sometimes we need to care about people and people don't care about other people they kill each other if we're talking about uh, right we're talking about your mom the one who carry you when you was um and the one nine months and now when you be um grow and you be big and everything and she took you to school and you pass those grace and everything is what you be today you have to be grateful that she is the one get um God used them to give it to you. And you don't even grateful for that because you treat your mother like a piece of trash. We see that a lot in America. A lot of people do that with her own parents. Never take them out. And sometimes her own wife, they don't even want you to go and see your own mom. And that's so sad because your mom is the first, not your, not your wife. Because your mother always be there when you sick, when you need something, and if, when you have problems, and when you need to receive something, she always be there, and she never close the door for you. And why you be like that with your own mom? I just gave you this testimony because very sad when you left your mom alone by herself and never visit your mom. And sometimes she wish you call her in the phone, and she never had a call for you because you never care about her. And that's so sad. We see a lot of family in America, they live in like that. That's why I always come to this um, YouTube to bring you this message inside this video because a lot of people, they need to care, to care about her own mother because your mother is the first person that you have right here in this life. You know, because it's a gift from God that gave it to you and you don't appreciate it. Try to appreciate your own mom and your father too. Because your father, sometimes we see father they good and they are real parent too. But we're talking about mom today and we need to care more for your mother. Because we see a lot of some 
they is so bad some well mother I mean a lot of um grand um, daughters they bad well mother too because they don't appreciate what God gave it to you and you need to appreciate what God gave it to you because it's grateful to have your part in your life because like I'm telling you we see a lot of people now around America they don't have their own part in their life if they wish to have a part in their life and sometimes they cry and sometimes they doing some and when they be alone when they call Mother's Day we see a lot of videos inside YouTube people they singing for her mother because they her mother is in heaven don't wait for your mother God to heaven to sing a song don't wait for your mother God to heaven to bring some flowers to the cemetery when she be buried right there try to be good now that she's alive try to visit your mother and whatever she did give it to your mom now she's alive don't wait for your mother pass away to give you everything when she be dead why you need somebody Give us everything what they did when they be alive. That's what they needed, not what they be dead. I'm telling you, a lot of people they do that, waiting for her own part to be dead to celebrate now that he did. Get that out of here. They need now, not later. Everything what you want to do, just do it right now. Don't do it when it's too late. Because it's so sad when we see there in America, a lot of parents um, try to. Um, to communicate with her own children in their want. Why? Because they selfish. They 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 nasty. They 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 cursing out every time when they're gonna say something. They say, oh, don't be a mom I like because I do whatever I want. And when you be in jail, who you call? Not you don't call God Buster. You call your mother, your father, right? And you know it's true. Because they that's what you need when you be in jail. You need ma, because ma had to resolve your problem now when you be in jail, but when you, your mother tell you, listen, you don't do that. When I tell you to go to the street and I tell you to do not sell no trust, to don't try to see the cops catch you to doing something wrong and you don't pay no mind because your friend, my friend, my friend, you don't have no friend. Let me tell you something. You don't have no friend. You know why? Because a friend is a dollar in the packet. And when you don't have that dollar in the packet, you don't have no friend. Let me tell you something. And what I tell you about that, because we see a lot of people in America, when you got um, money, they be follow you. When you don't have nothing, they don't follow you. You know why? Because people, they selfish. They only look for you when you have money. And don't think that's your friend. That's not your friend. Your mother always your friend. It doesn't matter if you don't have mo um, money or if you don't have nothing. They're always there when you need her. I'm telling you, this is a message. I gave it to every son and daughter in America, every family, they see this video. This is something important. They, I want you to share that with one of your friends when you see this video. Because we see, sometimes we make videos in YouTube and sometimes in Instagram and places like that you share. When we, this is the truth, you don't share with nobody. You know why? Because the truth make you, you and me, what? Free. And people don't like that. Because what I'm telling you is true. Try to communicate with your parents now they are alive. Don't try to communicate with your parents when they be dead. Because you don't need it when they be dead and bury in the cemetery. You don't need that. Huh? And when they, you see them there in that cake, they are in the funeral. Why you need to be there and see your parents be dead? Because when you want to be crying right there, oh my mom, I want to tell you this. I always love you. I will. Well, tell her now. No telling when she did. Tell them right now what you need it now. You tell her. They say, Mom, I love you. When was the last time you give a kiss to your mother? When was the last time you give a kiss to your father? But could you be a shame yourself to give a kiss to your father to your mother? That's not being ashamed to yourself. Give a kiss to your mother to your father. That's something that is grateful to God. Because you have your partner in a lot. That's a gift God gave it to you. And give it to everybody in America. We, we see a lot of family. They don't have a problem in life. Like I'm telling you, we see a lot of kids that love her, uh, her parents when they be on the wall and work in easy in those places like that, in Iraq, places like that, because people they be in the war and they need to have a problem in life and not a life. We see a lot of story about parents that be there because um, something happened and they come right there and they have no hard, uh, time to say to her father, to her mother, I love you. That's a simple word that you can tell your mom, to your father. Simple word that you can tell, I love you. And you can tell her and give you a kiss. And appreciate your mother and your father. And try to communicate with them. It doesn't matter. They only, you have to communicate with your father and your mother when they come. Mother say, 
you have to be communicating with your mother the whole um, 365 um, month of the year. You need to communicate with your mother and your father. 